bitches get the candy corn and make a candy corn anal bead for them big tattooed, big breasted burger felt wearing oh, daddy issue black black with lipstick wearing yeah oh hey I'm just sitting here thinking about all the lovely ladies uh, you know out there that love horror all of you out there I'm talking about you out there and all of you and of course when I think about women in horror I think about damn do uh are there a lot of women that get chased around in slasher movies you know so tonight let's let's talk about a slasher movie let's talk about a slasher with a chainsaw yeah we're gonna talk about Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 yep we're gonna talk about that one um this movie came out in 1990 folks and um let me tell you uh let me tell you something brother horror movie was going through a big change at that time and a new line cinemas came around came along got the rights for texas chainsaw massacre and they decided well hey why don't we go ahead and make a part three let's do a soft reboot let's pretend part two didn't happen but let's still call it texas chainsaw massacre three <laughs> so whatever and uh you know i let me see my notes here uh, they have uh, Peter Jackson and um, Tom Savini were actually approached to direct this motherfucker, and uh, that didn't fall through. And uh, in case you don't know, uh, Peter Jackson, uh, Mr. Hobbit, he uh, used to be in the horror genre. Later this month, I'm actually going to be reviewing one of his horror movies that he made. But anyway, anyway, went to this. I went to Jeff Burr, and from the beginning, Jeff Burr really wasn't working on. They, they started. They started uh, promoting this movie. They had uh, th this little teaser trailer of Leatherface sitting by a lake, just chilling with his hands in his pocket, and then a chainsaw comes out of the lake, he catches it, <laughs> comes on, you know. Um, and they filmed all that and got the locations and wardrobes and all that crap, I guess, from what I gather. <laughs> and, and then, boom, uh, they didn't have a director. So eventually, Jeff Burr came in, he stepped in, did this, and uh, let's let's see who stars in this motherfucker. Well, the guy playing Leatherface is a guy named R. A. Mikhailov. Mikhailov. Well, whatever. I'm really not. Is it? Look it up. Look up the guy who played Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Three. It's, it's a weird name. Um, anyway, he played Texas Chainsaw, but. Kane Hodder, that's right, Mr. Jason Voorhees, who he played uh, many times. Kane Hodder did the stunt work for Leatherface in this movie. And also we have um, Kate Hodge, who plays the, the female, the, like I said earlier, the women of horror are, are always being chased around by some crazy slasher. And uh, so she's uh, pretty much the woman. And we have a returning horror champion, Ken Voray. And uh, Ken Foray is freaking awesome. Uh, if you don't know, he's in Rob Zombie's uh, remake of Halloween. He was in uh, Dawn of the Dead, the original Dawn of the Dead. And he's just, he's been in many, many horror movies. And I love that guy so much. Uh, and also we have, uh, believe it or not, we got <laughs> uh, Vigo Mortensen. This is before he was a big name. Vigo Mortensen, yeah, he was in this fucking movie. This movie, by the way, was a $2 million budget, and it made a little over $5 million. So it's not, not, not so successful. New Line Cinema was also trying to bring back uh, the Jason series with uh, Jason, um, I think Jason Goes to Hell. And also they were working on, I think they just, I believe uh, Freddy's Dead would be around that time too. So New Line Cinema really had a lot of horror franchises at that time in 1990. Um, a big the, M, the rating the MCAA was just all over this movie they kept sending in multiple multiple copies trying to bring the rating down from an X rating down to an R rating you I, I there's an unrated cut I mean, I'll put the picture up here I'll put the picture up here somewhere of the unrated version 
which I, I, I'm not sure if I see it. The version I bought on Voodoo, I'm not sure if it's the unrated one or not. I don't think it is. But uh, that's out there. That came out in 2018. So if you want to see that, uh, Gunnar Hansen, I guess he, you're probably wondering, well, why didn't he just play Leatherface? Well, he, from what I, 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 I did a few videos cross-referencing and um, he just, he was asking for too much damn money, I guess. You know, but this guy, uh, already admit, Nick Haloff, he, uh, did pretty good, but what's going on with the story? Okay, here's the story. Pretty much, the beginning talks about the very first movie, and somehow it's tied to it. And how that we've never found Leatherface, we've never really found the real Leatherface. He's still out there, and cops are digging up. Uh, it's in Texas, of course, or else it would be Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and uh, <laughs> they're digging up bodies and you know, those people at like K. Hodges' character and her friend. There's, you know, I'm gonna say this movie isn't that great. There are I'm already forgotten their names, but uh, they're they're told to you know, keep passing through. They stop by a gas station with a weirdo who's spying on the girl, Kate Hodges' character in the bathroom, and Vigo Morrison acting like this big tough cowboy who's on. Don't worry, folks. The name's you Tex. Just go to this room here. It'll take you to where you want to be. It's a shortcut. We all know what happens there. Vigo Morrison is a part of this fucked up family, and. Uh, well, there's also a little girl involved, and um, they kind of insinuate that uh, the, this little girl might be Leatherface's daughter. Apparently, one of the victims is Leatherface. You know, I don't want to mention the stuff, but he ended up having a child. Um, but the, the family, the grandpa's there, and he's somehow still alive, but he ends up getting wasted. Um, but Ken Forey plays a character called Benny, and he's the best part of the movie. He ends up kind of being like the hero helping them out helping out uh, the girl at the end. And uh, of course, Leatherface is running around. And he's, I will say, Leatherface does look cool in this movie. I do like his look. I do enjoy the look. But there's just, it's just, is that good? They did try to amp up the gore for this movie, I will say that. Because if you go back and watch the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you do see that it is a scary movie, you know, very thought provoking, and there's some violence in it. But there's not a whole lot of blood. And then part two, Toby Hooper, when he did part two, it was a little bloodier, but a lot funnier. This one here isn't funny. And it's a lot of gore. And it's it's just lackluster. I'm not going to give away the I'm not going to give away the ending on these. Uh, if you want to see, you can buy a DVD of this movie or you can download it. Have your friend Lee. Everybody has a friend named Lee who can uh, pirate stuff. So get it off him, maybe. But here we go. Just a quick, quick, quick little clip. Make sure you got enough gasoline because these chainsaws are going to be going all night. Dicing and slicing and licing. And guess what? Ooh, what's that cooking? It ain't bison. It's someone's, it's someone's boots, though, that's cooking. You better watch out there in Texas. Uh, poor Ken Forey. Love that guy. He's so free. I, lo I loved him in Dawn of the Dead. He's like, fly boy, you're an asshole best part of that movie you know there he, he looks like he's okay plus he was in that movie from beyond oh here he comes here comes bubba <laughs> did you did you get her bubba <laughs> did you get him you get you're gonna kill that guy <laughs> dog will hunt <laughs> dog will hunt <laughs> oh try to give him the big boot to the face nice ah, he's beating the shit out of Leatherface. <laughs> And there's a, oh man, watch out for the blade, the axe's family, actually, the saw is family, oh shit, ah, <laughs> oh damn, oh look, get out of there man, get out of there Benny, Oh, well, there you go. If you want to see this movie, you need to get your friend Lee or somebody to download it for you or something, because I can't find this shit anywhere. I had to buy it on Voodoo. All right, see you later. Happy Halloween, bitches. Will I rate this movie one and a half out of five dog dicks? <laughs>